quick shot there from Enable on Sargoth. He has that escort icon, which means his teammate is running that flag towards him. You can bet that he's going to lift, and Enable runs back with him. That's another thing we have to talk about, Euphorics. There is a waypoint over your head that tells you where that flag carrier is, but you never know how many teammates they have with them. It could be a little bit of a bait and switch and a little bit misleading even. Yeah, and, and I like the way Enable, oh, almost getting the headshot there as status quo goes up to flag caps. Uh, the way Enable let the flag run past that hallway. Nice shots there. Enable really making a difference here for status quo in these great flag plays. But if I can go back to it for a third time, uh, the flag, he let it walk past that hallway, past that door, and he waited behind it just in case there was a player from Legendary trying to flank the flag. Right, and Amalot trying to hit that extra quick scope. His team did go up 2-0. I think Legendary was able to get a flag grab like seconds, perhaps even a fraction of a second after that cap, but Status Quo is going to go up 2-0. And to be honest, on a Drift CTF, a 2-0 lead is pretty significant. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely... Um, a hectic map. There's a lot of You can't run the flag <laughs> that way. Enable says yeah, no. That's uh, my hallway. He is that hallway monitor. Absolutely. He's not letting anyone pass, uh, even if they do have the flag. Give it, it out matter. the merits left and right. Yeah, you do need a hall pass to pass. And uh, Enable says no. Let's see if he can hit that quick scope on Sargoth. Nice job. And almost finishes that kill as well. So he's a force to be reckoned with. Really locking down that power position. And you'd think that Legendary would learn uh, after their mistakes. And Enable now taking it. Oh. Ooh, looks like there was a little bit of a juke there as Enable is yeah. on the receiving end of this battle. Yeah, yeah. He went down to no shields, was forced to flank around, caught himself in a little bit of a bad position, but he is now on a killing spree going up against best man with the no scopes, but he eventually is taken right, out. Right, and both flags are out as we now switch on with best man. Uh, he has a kill icon. Excellent quick wow. scope there, and might try to turn two here. And I, oh, looks like he almost hit that body shot, but he is taken out, and that flag is now being run by status quo, uh, but he does have teammates here. So let's see, does not hit the slide jump, unfortunately, and probably wishes he could have tossed it right there. Uh, but the flag joust right here, and ooh, looks like Sargak gets the better of that. Yeah, and, and, and when looking at that slide jump, I have to wonder if taking damage actually affects it. We know there is the stopping power mechanic on the sprint, right. but I'm not sure how in a scenario like that where you're man cannoning and sliding, if that also affects your momentum as well. Right, there's a lot of variables there, and we don't know exactly what those look like. Now 17.53 left in the match. You see status quo, uh, like we heard Roy talk about earlier, and I actually also talked to Snipe down about it. Once you get an initial flag cap on these game types, you can play really defensive. Mm -hmm. And especially status quo now up three caps, uh, under three minutes left in regulation play. Uh, they are sitting in a very good position to move on and face ambush in the losers' finals. Nice double kill there from Enable as he's moving with his team. Time and time again, we see these veteran teams with so many player icons on their screens because they're always constantly together. Now, that's a flagpole for Legendary. Let's see uh, who's running that. But actually, it goes down immediately. Nice job there from Status Quo to keep control of their base. Snake by now with the Rockets, no chance. Oh, my goodness. Goes under. Really <laughs> nice job there. Decides not to challenge and tries to jet back up, ends up blowing himself up. But right there, almost uh, got away. I think if he had just sprinted to the lift, he would have been fine. Yeah, yeah. That lift, uh, while it can put you in a bad position if the enemy team is going through there, I think in that situation, he would have been pretty safe. Yeah, Royal 2 now with those Rockets. He also sees a sniper on the screen. That's got to be tempting for him. He wants to push into his base. Of course, if he has either of those weapons, he'd prefer if one of his teammates grabbed that flag. Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling here he's just going to wait around and hopefully uh, catch one of these legendary players off spawn. But I, I have a feeling he's going to have to move out soon. Uh, yeah. Not a lot of action coming his way. Yeah, luckily he has the luxury of doing something like that now with only a minute and a half left before sudden death overtime, and his team is up 3-0. Uh, if they do win this game, that will be 2-0 on the series. So he's in a really good position right now. I think he can afford to just slowly control the map at his pace with this power weapon. Yeah, Kobe did have the flag out for Legendary. Uh, some rockets firing off there. The flag in the hands of Snakebite. And it looks like Status Quo could get another cap here. Here we go, Snakebite also punching there. That seems to be a Status Quo uh, tradition right there. Yeah. Too. There's the repeatedly strong side. punch. Uh, yeah, they're trying to strong side away there. Of course, a habit of professional players. Snakebite pulls a sniper out of the back pocket. A little surprise there. Finds Pred. And they're trying to get into a long-range battle here. Also finds Best Man. Ooh. A nice body shot there. Best Man not sure what to do with those rockets. Yeah, Best Man going to have to push back into the middle. Looks like he's going to jetpack up to this red landing. Uh, and, and move back to his team and try to get this flag. Right, and now with 47 seconds left, of course, this game is going to be over pretty quick, as I think it's mathematically or... Uh, Let's see, geographically impossible yeah, for the we flag. Yeah, we in here to tell us what it is. <laughs> yeah, plausible. For the uh, flag to be ran four times across this map, obviously not possible within 30 seconds. So that's actually going to do it. Uh, we are just going to play these last 30 seconds as the clock winds down. These players just padding their stats, perhaps getting a few more flag kills. Hopefully going to do it, though. Uh, status quo is going to move on over Legendary into the Losers Finals. Yeah, and, and we got to give it up for Legendary. Kobe making top four, taking home $4,000 as this map 
wraps up with 10 seconds left in regulation time. Yeah, it is awesome to see Kobe and his team. I actually asked Ken, his father, how recently that team was formed because I know best man tends to join teams last yeah. minute. And I think it's actually been less than three weeks that they've been a team. So to come here, place top top four, uh, grab that $4,000 prize is awesome to see. So congrats to their team. Uh, Kobe, really an MLG Pro success story working his way all the way up, attending events and playing with professional players, and now placing top four, taking home $1,000. So congrats to them, but of course also congrats to Status Quo, who is now in the top three, a guaranteed 6,000, and will be moving on to play some more Halo 4 matches. Yeah, that's right. They are going to be in the Losers Finals, facing against Ambush, both fighting for the chance to dethrone Warriors because they have just been on a tear all tournament. They have now. Hopefully we'll be able to jump into these stats to see uh, how that went. Now we'll see 30 kills from Enable and 29 from Royal 2. Uh, definitely the most in the game. Uh, those both players going pretty positive on the other side.